Hi, I'm Paul McGee, author of the book, How Not To Worry. I want to explore with you now three things you absolutely have to know about dealing with worry, anxiety, and stress. Point number one, I want to think about the metaphor of the tightrope walker. You see, for a tightrope walker to be successful and to have balance, they'll often have one of these little poles to help them with their balance. Now, I want you to think about this. On this side of the pole are red arrows. They represent stresses in your life. It could be issues to do with problems at work, finances, your health, relationship with your boss, with your family, whatever. But they are red arrows in your life. Now the thing is, if we haven't got anything to help balance us, what you're gonna find is those red arrows will get you off balance. That's the negative impact of stress, anxiety, and worry. So on this side of the pole, I want you to imagine some green arrows coming down. And they represent our coping strategies. Our coping strategies could be getting the support of other people, prioritizing things, taking some exercise, saying no. So when you're dealing with an issue that you might have right now, I guess you've got some choices. Recognize that actually some of those red arrows, we don't actually need them in our life. Maybe we've got some choice. Maybe going shopping in December with small children isn't a great thing to do in the first place. Maybe putting yourself in certain situations where you know you're gonna get stressed and anxious, get rid of that red arrow. But reality rules, there are some red arrows that are just part of life. So rather than panicking about them, ask yourself, what have I got on this side of the pole? What are some of my coping strategies to help me achieve that balance? Here's the second thing you need to know about dealing with worry, anxiety, and stress, and it's this, the elastic band. You see, some people have this mistaken belief that actually we should, our goal should be to live a stress-free life. Can I just tell you this? This is what stress-free looks like. This elastic band was never designed just to be like that. It was designed to be stretched. And we as human beings, that's how we've been kind of like made. That's how we've evolved. We've been designed to be stretched. We need purpose. You know what? We need deadlines. We need goals. We need targets. So let's get out of this kind of false belief that this is where we always want to be. We actually need to be stretched. In fact, Having a life like that all the time, where we lack meaning and purpose in itself can be, can be actually stressful. So we need stretch, but of course we need to be careful that healthy pressure doesn't become unhealthy stress. Because if we have too much of it, then ultimately you could snap. Here's the third and final point I want to make, and that is this about how we're gonna deal with worry, anxiety, and stress. It's what I call the boiled frog syndrome. Now, don't try this one at home, okay? But apparently, trust me, I've heard it, I haven't tried it. If you were to place a live frog in a pan of boiling water, guess what? It's jumping out. But if you put that live frog in a pan of lukewarm water, well, it'll happily swim around and you can gradually warm it up and heat up the water over time. And because it adjusts to the increase in temperature, and because the increase happens slowly over time, apparently, and I say apparently, it is actually possible to boil the frog alive. It doesn't realize it's in boiling water until it's too late. And I think that's how sometimes worry, anxiety, and stress can affect us. It kind of like slowly builds up very, very gradually. So in summary, just remember that tightrope walker analogy. You know, we will have some of those pressures on us, those stresses, those red arrows. Maybe we can get rid of some of them, maybe we can't. What we need to recognize is the green arrows here are coping strategies. Secondly, remember that metaphor around the elastic band. We're not designed to be just like this. We need stretch, we need challenge, we need purpose. Just be careful that healthy pressure doesn't become unhealthy stress. And then finally, that boiled frog syndrome. It's maybe the water that you're in at the moment been heating up too much. Do you need other people to maybe point out some stuff that you haven't noticed so far? If we become more aware of these three things, then I genuinely believe we can actually stress less and enjoy life more.